It was technically called Pithecanthropus erectus. It means erect ape man. That's what it means, okay? It was later called Homo erectus. Java man was found in Indonesia in, 19, in 1891, and that's about 120 years ago, in 1891. How many skulls do you think they found for this? Do you think maybe they found 100? 100 Java man skulls? Maybe 50? How about 10? How about one? Did they find one whole skeleton? How about did they find half a skeleton for Java man? Well, it turned out that all they found was one skull cap, one thigh bone, and two teeth. That's all they found. Now, here's the question. How did the British Museum down in London know that it looked like that? How did it know like it looked like that? It gets more interesting. Here, look at this. The thigh bone was found one year later, and it was 50 feet away from the skull cap. And they assumed it was the same individual. Dr. Dubois is the guy who discovered this uh, fossil, these bones. And then he later found human skull, skulls in the same place, but he hid them under his floorboards in his bedroom for 26 years. That's what he did. And before Dubois died, he confessed that he didn't find the missing link. He just thinks that it was probably a giant gibbon that he found, that he made that confession. It turned out that the thigh bones belonged to a human and the skull bone it belonged to an extinct um, a gibbon, which is an ape-like creature. This appeared in every, nearly in every American museum. It appeared in another place called Leiden uh, Museum in 1980. That day in 1980, it was in the museum after it was discovered as a hoax for 50 years. It was kept in that museum for another 50 years. So nearly 100 years, for nearly 100 years, students were told that this fossil was actually the missing link. Tell me, what would happen if you were going to school during that time and you were told that evolution is true? Would they unbrainwash you to tell you that it was all a hoax? They wouldn't. They would love you to keep that going.